I'm Shayla Montgomery, Miss Oregon Teen USA 2020, and today I'm going to be reading y'all three stories from Little Dreamers, visionary women around the world. First up is Jin Jung Wu. Born in a tiny town in China, Xin Zheng traveled great lengths to receive an education. Although it was uncommon at the time, her mother, a teacher, and her father, an engineer, believed their daughter deserved to study just like her two brothers. Their village had a no-girls school, so her parents founded one. She soon attended boarding school, then traveled to the University of Nanjing, and later all the way in the United States. In 1936, she enrolled at the University of California, Berkeley, after receiving her PhD in physics, moved to the East Coast, and eventually taking a job at Princeton University. Her research made her a prime candidate to join the Manhattan Project at Columbia University, the US government's secret program during World War II to build the atomic bomb. She was one of the only handful of women and the only Asian American to work on this historic project. Next up, we have Amelia Hernandez. From an early age, Amelia loved to dance. Her parents were so supportive, they even built her a studio in their home so that she could practice. She was dedicated and disciplined, studying traditional formal ballet. In college, she trained in modern dance with European instructors and later worked as a choreographer. Something was missing though, Amelia was growing tired of the European styles of dance. She was inspired by childhood memories of men and women dancing in the streets in small neighborhoods and villages in Mexico. These danzas are traditionally used for ceremonial purposes and they're full of rhythm and energy. Amelia had an idea to combine the uniquely Mexican vibe of danzas with ballet and modern dance to celebrate her culture. She started in 1952 with a small group of eight dancers, performing with elaborate costumes, dramatic lighting, and creative set designs. Audiences from all around Mexico loved it. In 1954, the group began to appear on TV every week for 60 weeks. Amelia worked hard to create a brand new performance every week. By 1959, the group now called Ballet Folclorio de Mexico had grown to more than 50 dancers and was so popular that it was represented in Mexico as the performed at the Pan American Games in Chicago. Thanks everyone for reading with me. I had so much fun. See you next time.